Hi YouTube, so welcome back to my channel. As you probably can tell, it has been a while since you've seen me in your subscription box. Um, I have taken a bit of a break, but this is me back and I am ready to do more regular uploads and a lot of videos for you guys. Um, as you can see, I'm not alone. Um, I am doing a video with the gorgeous. Hi everyone, my name is Andy Macker and I also have a YouTube channel as well. Um, and me and Karen just decided today not do a yeah, it'd be good fun. There's not many YouTubers in Northern Ireland, so we thought this would be fun. Um, we are friends as well, which makes it even better. So we're getting doing a get ready with me, and and um, we'll just kind of chat this throughout. And yeah, hopefully you like it. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see how we created these looks, then keep on watching. And also, don't forget to go over onto my channel as well. I think yep. a wee bit about me and Karen because we're already in like a wee Q and A video as yep. well. Um, we asked everybody on Instagram and on Facebook, or sorry, on Snapchat, yeah. Snapchat, and we got a good amount of questions and we answered them all back. So, go if you want to find out some more personal stuff about, about us. us and a few bits about our makeup favourites, then definitely head over there, subscribe as well, give the videos a like, and um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Okay, so I'm actually going to start with my base first, um, and I'm going to mix two different foundations together so I'm mixing the Revlon Colour Stay and the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay foundation and I'm mixing them together and um, because I have no foundation on it or no fake tan on it at the minute so I'm actually quite pale. And I'm just gonna start by doing my brows. So sometimes I don't actually draw my brows on um, just depending if I'm going for a real like dramatic look which is what I want to go for today. So I'm just going to use a brow pencil because I've been like going off for me it's nice so I'm just using this big to buy MAC. Have you been really liking that? Oh I love that. I really like it too but I just find I run out of it really really quick. Really? Yeah but I suppose I was using it every single day so it was probably just... I've been just... using this like on every single class as well like I'm not even joking no matter what like her colour they have or it matches everyone doesn't it so good when I went to Pete Louise's masterclass ages ago um, she said herself she was like I mean we use this on nearly every every, every hair colour and I was like no way so that's when I went and bought it and I absolutely agree like it, it suits everyone doesn't it yeah I think what do you call it I only got it last week because I never never even heard about it I don't really watch all her videos, of way, like when I have a free, like, free head. Yeah. Um, and when I went down to the palette launch in Dublin, it was literally, like, that's all I was talking about. I was like, I'm actually going to go back and see what it it's going to look like. But it's, it's amazing. It's not one of those ones you forget when you have, like, a brown pencil and, like, it snaps every single day. Yeah. Around, like, I know, I know, this it actually doesn't. Oh, I hate that. Oh, yeah. Because that's what I was saying earlier. Like, I got the, the balm. They have new brow pencils coming out. I'm not sure if they're out yet, but if not, they'll be out in the next week. And um, I find they're really, really like, similar to that. Like they don't yeah. break, they're very creamy. I it really was, like um, them. I used to use uh, the process in my brow by Benefit. And then I was like, you know, I could just five pound, 20 pound for a brow pencil. And yeah. This is only like 30 pound or something. Exactly. So I must try and one from the bottom because I love all their like the contour products. On. You would literally love their brow products, and they're so good. <coughs> Have there been any brow products that you use that you actually really don't like? Mm. I'm trying to think. Well, it's not that I don't like it. It's okay if. I've ran out of something, right? Okay, yeah. And it's actually, do I have it here? It's in this bag somewhere. It's not even on the anesthesia. But it's the, what do you call that one? Ardell. Oh, yes. It's just really dry, but it's okay if you're on a budget. You see, I find that with the MIX one, the next one. They have like a, a pomade thing, and it's okay the first two times maybe using it, and then see straight off that, it's dry. Oh, I hear that. I'm using the Expert Face Brush, by the way, from Real Techniques to buff this in. I like keep it really, really flat and just literally pat it in until it kind of goes a wee bit like semi matte. And I'm going to go in now with the Unique Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer in the shade Scarlet. 
this is amazing. Like, I'm not even joking. I carved my brows out with this, and then I'll go in with the Helene Stage Eyeshadow Primer, just blend that all over the lid. But I was so like skeptical about that unique brand before because so many of them contact you and has the stories, isn't it? You just hear so much bad things, and I suppose you can't really be like, mm, do you know what I mean? But I was really skeptical, and then I have found a girl, and her name's Vega Blaze, and she's a unique presenter, and she is so lovely and she's so informative, and she does a lot of tutorials as well, like showing you how to work with the products and a lot of live videos as well. See, I think that's good. And like, you don't get much of the projectors doing it, and I was just like, oh my God, that concealer looks unreal. So I purchased it, and literally, look at all I have, like the tiniest wee drop goes a long way. So the reason why I'm doing my sort of eyes first, because I am gonna have a really dramatic look, and, or I am doing a really dramatic look, and I'm using a lot of dark colors, so I couldn't just fit in my base first, so yeah. I'll be everywhere. See, I think I'm gonna go for more like kind of browns, neutrally colours, but I'm gonna do a double liner. Um, so liner. oh, it's good, isn't it? Stunning. So that's why I've decided that I can't go ahead and do my base first because I'm not gonna be overly messy and I'm not gonna be using very dark colours, so I can just be a wee bit more careful. Right, so I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise palette. I'm gonna go into the shade Martini first. And I'm just using like a flat sort of eyeshadow brush. The only thing, guys, um, this shade isn't really that pigmented. Um, you have to work really, really sort of hard with it, like to try and sort of build your sort of pigmentation up. It's just really, how do you call that when you think? Harsh or chalky? Yeah, it's, really like, chalky. it's really a bit chalky, but it is beautiful. Like when you do take your time and build it up, but it just wishes. It just takes more effort yeah. to do than what you So don't be thinking, oh my god, like it's a set. Just keep building and building it up. So I have just put down that um, Helen A primer, and I'm actually just going to go over the top just because of a few creases. And then I'll blend that down. So I never ever scrap my lid anymore after watching like some of the Pilouis like videos and tutorials. Simply because um, when your base is damp on your eyes, basically it comes up more. Like, the shadows come out more pigmented. Up. So you want to go in and pat the product out on the lid firstly. Um, because if you're going to go in straight away and start the blend, you're going to move your sort of damp base all about. It's just sort of like horrible, so you just want to pat it all on. All I've done is I used the um, Makeup Revolution con Conceal and Define underneath my eyes for my concealer. And now I'm set with the MAC Invisible... I don't know what this one's called because it's you can only get it. Set the set powder. You can only get it if you're a pro member. Um, which is the set, oh my god, you need to try it. See when you're doing setting your eyes, like try it. Um so unfortunately you can only get it if you're a pro member, but you could use um just any loose part of that you really like. And I've just set underneath my eyes, all my eyelids as well, because I get creasing quite badly. Um basically I have very oily skin, so I just really I set with loose powder anywhere where I would get particularly oily during the day. I like to have a really, really matte base and then add the glow with highlighter. Are you the same? I'm the same. I love a dewy look, but I cannot. I can't. I can't. Like, see me. Like, do you have the Slay All Day spray? And then I love this one, the Mario Badescu facial spray with cucumber. I only do it so long. But I tried that for a time today and it smells unreal. See if you have your base like completely put like set with powder, it does look a wee bit sort of cakey. But see if you go in with like a satin spray or an any spray, it just melts everything in place and then you can go straight on your highlighter and put it on the That's what I always do. So I make my like my face has not one bit of dimension on it or one bit of shine because I have literally plastered my face now and like this is it. So now I go in with the Jared Cosmetics and um, say all day. This one's a grapefruit one. All of my clients absolutely love the smell of this because it really is like you'll really you say like Oh my god, doesn't that smell amazing? Mm, so cute. I do that to kind of melt the powders into my face and then go in with like your contour, your highlighter, your bronzer, whatever, um, to bring back the kind of dimensions of your face. And I'm using MAC Harmony um, 
contour just with the Morphe M402 brush and it's like my favourite shade at the minute. I can't get away from it. Isn't it so um, nice? I've had pan on it. I've definitely had pan on it, but I love it. I love it. It's actually a flipping blush. Like I know. Say that it's a blush. Like, like look at the colour of that. How did you say that's a blush? I don't know. It's, but it's, it's like the nicest contour, contour ever. It's amazing. So good. You want to choose really like handed motions when you're doing this sort of stuff. Your transition is the most important eyeshadow of the entire look. It's just going to help blend all your darker colours together. So I like to really sort of build my sort of transition up first. A good, good fair amount. Because I still want to see all that definition of colour whenever I cut my crease. And I'm just using MAC Give Me Some Bronzer and just bronzing the kind of my forehead and just above the contour just to blend everything in so it looks a lot better. So now I'm about to use my Holy Grail highlighter, the Jeffree Star King Top. Shut up. No. Oh my god. The only one I've used is the Uranus one. And I love that one. This one is like, oh my god. Like, no way do you see this. It is like, <gasps> literal gold. I love his highlighter, but even though I've only used one. But I, this I really like love it. Really oh my god. They're so creamy. Like, they're so, so creamy. Yeah. I think I'm using an Inglot 4SS brush. It's, it, to me, it looks like a big massive eyeshadow brush, but it's like perfect for like really highlighting your cheeks. I'm gonna use the Morphe M200 brush. I'm gonna go into the contour shade, but before I do that, I wanna get my flat brush again and pat the shade down first. So you're doing a lot of patting motions. So with this shade, I'm not really blending it as far out as the first shade because it's, I just, it's something that I do, I don't blend it as far out, just really focusing on the crease. And I'm just using a wee Milani blusher in 07 and literally these are the most pigmented things you'll ever use oh, so I, I tap it off and just the tiniest wee bit on the apples of my cheeks just to like kind of finish blending everything in. Okay so I've done one eyebrow off camera and I'm going to do this one now so I'm just using the Freedom brow pomade in medium brown oh, in <laughs> medium brown and using the MIX brow paint or brow brush so I'm just using the shade bestie now and I'm just patting it on again and then I'll start to blend it out using the previous shade we went in with which is obviously contour I just want to keep it nice and smoky today and then I'll deepen it up underneath the eye um, because I'm actually going off cut creases I'm going to take a wee bit of the Mario Badescu spray and just like a wee sort of um, bullet brush and I'm taking the Lindsay Douglas pigment. Now these don't have any shade names like at all on them but it's just a white pigment um, and I think it's actually called Ace Ace Baby but I'm not too sure, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just going to put this in the inner corners of my eye. I'm going to sort of bring it a wee bit up onto the lid. Usually when I do like a really dark look, um, I would go in with the duo glue that has like the pink written, like other than the one of the blue, because it does um, dry down black. Oh, it's the dark one, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the only thing I don't like, I love a good strong glue that your lashes stay on like all night and they don't come off, but see with that black one, oh my god, like see you're trying to get your lashes off. It does it really stick? It actually pulled some of my eyelashes out before and oh, it was terrible. It was you see, I use the Revlon lash glue. Is it good? Oh my god, it is amazing. And it's on a wee applicator, so it's really, oh, really clean that. and like easy to use. Like look at that, like it's always going to be a waste. It's such a waste, isn't it? Or is it, you see, this is, this is a Revlon one. And it's not really dear either, isn't it? No, and it's on a wee... So I'm just using MAC Nylon for my brow bone highlight, just for a really like, intense highlight. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my wee Anastasia quad, and I'm going to use the colour Burnt Orange at the top. And just on a big fluffy brush, and I'm going to put this through my crease. Okay, so that's it on the top, and I'm just going to do it on the bottom um, lash line as well. Yeah. 
Jeez, you make pressure into your eyes. Uh huh. To really fluff it out. To like really, really blend, especially on this colour. Because I want it like really nice and kind of like a colour gut. And the, like the perfect colour. I just went in with, I can't even remember what you call this colour. It's the only thing, see when you make your own wee quad. I forget the name of Blazing. Oh, that's a nice colour too. Isn't that nice? Um, see when you make your own wee quad and then you have to try to find the colours, you have to try to sit and pick them out. I'm gonna go in with the Fit Me Matte and Portis um, foundation in the shade 115. I haven't used that in ages. Oh, I love that. So I do go in with all that. I'll go in with about <laughs> probably about three coats of this. <laughs> and then go in with a shitload of contour and highlight and everything after. Yeah. So I'm just take a Moat Revolution um, Kabuki foundation brush and I'll like sort of plaster it all over the face by just pushing it in and then I'll go in with the Beauty Blender after. To take away any of like the brush strokes. By the way, this doesn't match me because I like being orange. So in case you're wondering, like what the crack is, I like being um, maybe a shade or two darker than what I actually am because I'm really, really pale and I do love bronzer and contour. So I go in with a shitload and I'll just blend it the whole way down the neck. But I have been experimenting with tan um, a lot, and the big old one is actually really good. Yeah, it's hard, really good thing. So like that. as well, it's my seven pound bottle. The flawless legs one, and it's like a spray. And see the mitt that that you buy, and it is oh my god, it is amazing. See, I love fake tan, but I would normally have fake tan on, but I just didn't have the time last night, and I was like, Do you know what? I'm going pale to the. Okay, so I was just blended that uh, above and below my eyes again, and just went really, really nice and smoky with it. Just really, this is quite a soft look when it comes to like the actual eye look and then obviously we're going to go a wee bit more dramatic with the liner and I have already done this eye um, including the lashes so I've done my black wing liner then a rose gold wing liner and then my lashes so I'm going to do that on this side now and kind of show you how I've done it and then obviously finish the rest so I'm just getting with the bourgeois ultra black flip I don't know how to pronounce it Conceal liner, yeah, the black liner. Black liner. It's just like a wee pen one. And I'm gonna do a wing. Bear with me, because wings are not easy to do, especially when you're on camera. <laughs> it's really hard to explain. Like it's on camera. That's like it's just so like intimidating or something. In case like you're talking really slow or really long. Yeah. So literally, I'm just gonna leave this on my nose for about. 20 seconds or something just to let it bake in. So it's done the black liner. And then for my uh, rose gold liner, I'm gonna use the next glam liner. These are absolutely stunning, although you cannot layer these or else they will crack, so you need to yeah. give it like one line of it or else it will start to crack on you. Because the vivid brights are like gone as well. Are they? Yes, they are. Aren't they like the so whites and all? But if you, I find if you do one, line with it you're fine but anything more than that it will start to crack a bit on you don't worry if you smudge on with the black with this i do this quite messy because i do go back mm -hmm. on with the black just to fix anything else what's that um it's kylie jenner if the name is oh. off so this is one of her loose headers i was going to go with doll beauty but i can't find it the doll beauty in the shade like a diamond has been my favorite headliner. I have a little bit. Where do you want to turn it off? I'm going to show you. Yeah, because I want to see it. Having these destinations. So because my face is like still a wee tiny bit damp, and um, because this is a loose highlighter, it's not a compact, you do need to be really careful with the placement of the product or it just gets like messy. So I'm just going to take a eyeshadow brush. This is in the shade Fiji, by the way, for anybody that is wondering. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pat it on firstly and then I'll start to blend up. Oh, it's not stunning. So I like picking up um, an eyeshadow brush. I'm not stunning. So if you have watched my channel before, you probably know I've kind of disappeared for 10 months. <laughs> And I took a break for 10 months. No, so in September I started uni, um, so I decided I was like, right, I'm gonna get this 
shit together. Um, shit. Just doesn't like yeah. No. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna get my shit together, get everything sorted, and then start back into YouTube doing it all properly because like there's loads and loads of videos that I've been wanting to do and just didn't get around to doing it. Loads of new products that I want to tell you about that I've been absolutely loving and like different techniques and everything like that. And then like one minute it was September and then it was March and then it was like I don't even know how to like get back into this. Like it's been so long for Baz done a video and like I'm actually a bit nervous to like film again and it sounds so stupid because it's literally like we're sitting behind a camera in an empty room like it's like but it's it is because I think because I've only really started my, my channel um and I think it's just because there's so many people it's in the YouTube now and there's like these people and you're like and you're like your content everything is like unreal yeah so you're comparing yourself to like you do you do you and you feel a bit shit about it like but you just have to get on with it because obviously people follow you for a reason do you know they wouldn't be following you yeah like, well think. that's it and um, I just want to be able to like put more content out and just get back in the way that I was doing it before because I loved it like I absolutely loved it and that's actually how I know Karen because I, yeah. before I ever started YouTube, like I always watched her videos and I followed her and stuff and then me and her just, we just started talking about yeah. it and that was it. And then we met at um, the BTY event in Belfast when, she, when Rachel was relaunching the store and um, we both went to the opening. And that was the first time. And that was kind of it, wasn't it? And ever since we've just been like, like in each other's stay yeah. and supporting each other and now we're friends and now we're friends and we're on here filming and it's and nice together. because i think we're the darlings that small that like it's hard to like make friends with other um like youtubers even because like there's literally not that many and people see to here YouTube. not even about just youtube like beauty in general here i don't know about wherever you guys are from but it's so fucking bitchy it here. Is. Like, like it's, it's so, so bad like one well, there's so many makeup artists in Belfast now because makeup is just like blown yeah, up yeah everyone in your drama you love them basically and i just think that people are very quick to judge others and just have so much to say about people and i think that's why you can't really express yourself who you are and whatever like i don't know it's i'm probably not even making sense but here it's just it's such a small wee country but no but i i completely like, agree like but there's so much hate for people in it there's some of that i have seen that has been going on that i don't even want to really go to because it's like it gives me anxiety to think that i'm going to be with other girls who like don't necessarily like me or for you know, no they reason. have their own wee clicks and they're obviously because there's certain people that's better than others yeah. you want to look at you and be like look at her makeup or look at she's wearing or do you know what I mean like and that's it is, why. it's a bit off putting it's kind of like I agree so for my lips I'm going in with and now this is like my holy grail lip product I'm going in with the instant colour matte liquid lip in the shade 01 from Kiko and then over the top I'm going to go in with my burning new gloss from Makeup Studio. I mean it's, a, it's just I love it. My favourite combo at the minute has been the MIX retractable lip liner in 08 sand beige and then I love the MAC Fever Glam 2 mixed in with it because it's slightly darker so it just it gives like a shadow around your lips creating like a bigger lip effect really so yeah this is our finished looks yeah finished i forgot to explain <laughs> i actually did my under eyes oh, yeah. off camera before we go because we didn't want to drag the video on i got really way quicker than usually i'm actually really quick but i don't know what was wrong with me but all i did was i used the collection black gel liner and the water line underneath the lash line smudged it out and then just went over the top of all the shades that i had used on the lid and then a wee bit of it like black and that was literally it okay so yeah this is it so basically we're doing another video on anya's channel and it is going to be a q and a so all her links will be down below so we'll have like our facebook or snapchat or instagram and of course her youtube channel with the link in the video below so if you enjoyed this and want to know a few more questions be a bit more personal about us then go over there and you can watch that video so yeah thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one bye